good morning. It's my mama calling, so I'll be right back. Trying on bridesmaids dresses. I've actually tried on a few, but this is an option. <laughs> Very poofy and purple. <laughs> Better yeah, better than burgundy for sure. And I have some other options. And um, this one is a prom dress, I didn't realize. This one I could not get on because it's a size 12. This looked like a mom dress. And this one was a prom dress too and I didn't realize it. So, yes, we're going with other options here. It's okay, it's going on YouTube anyway. <laughs> yes, that's right. And since we're not there, and you say I do to your bed, the way we celebrate it with you is we ask you to put your eyes in the bridge. Take a picture of it. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. I gotta make a wish. Okay, we'll make a wish and then ring that bell. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Let me take a picture too. <laughs> Yeah, no, but that's okay. It's going on YouTube anyway. No one's gonna see it. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> Melissa found her dress. I'm so excited for her. It was that was really fun. I, I mean, it's been a long time since I've done that. I did it with Bia many, many moons ago, and that didn't work out that well. And then uh, I did it for myself, which again was many, many moons ago. So this was a totally different experience, being on the opposite end of it. For Tara, I didn't get to be with her when she was doing it, so I just had to see her dress the day of because she, well, she had texted me a picture of it before, but it wasn't the same. I, I had to just kind of see it the day of because she lives in a different state and I didn't get to be with her for all of the extra stuff, so I'm very excited to be able to be with her. And she got an amazing deal on her dress and it was so beautiful on her and she really is only gonna need small alterations. So um, I tried on a whole bunch of bridesmaids dresses and I should have taken video of the one that she liked, but I didn't because it was kind of big and it was I was like hanging out all over the place, so I didn't, but it was, it was pretty. So now she just needs to kind of make a final decision whether that's exactly what she wants or not and whether she wants us all to be in the same color, different colors, or you know, all that good stuff. So I'll find out more as time goes on. Luckily, we still have a long time, <laughs> like 20 months, really. Well, she told me I needed to get my dress seven months before the wedding. So I have like 15 months to figure it out or for her to figure it out so that I can figure it out. And then we also need to get Emmy's dress and she'll have to get the boys tuxes and I'll have to figure out what color she wants the little girls in and all that good stuff. So anyway, it is 1 21 um, I was gonna meet Bia but she didn't text me back so even though we weren't gonna work out I was gonna tell her if she wanted to meet for lunch or something so I'm actually going to head home and try and get a few more things done I have a, cu a couple more color street orders that I need to package up that people pay like they've got stuff after the live sale so I need to package those up and run those to the post office and I want to, tonight I have a girls night out with, with all my work friends. We're going, I think I talked about this yesterday, to board a brush. So I am gonna have to leave the house probably around 5.30ish. So hopefully Andres is off in time. So I wanna make sure I have something laid out for dinner. And then also I pick up the girls fairly early. So I think I'm gonna run home, grab some lunch, cause I don't have any errands that I need to run and do really, but I do need to do some computer work. Like I could do my discussion posts for our school and I could also edit, start editing tonight's vlog and have some lunch, watch a show. And then, yeah, probably just get those orders packaged up and run to the post office and then go pick up the girls a little early so that I can have dinner and everything ready for them. So that's what the plan is. I don't think I have anything else to do. I have to look at my list because my schedule has just been kind of crazy the last few days, so. Okay, packaged up my packages. I have two Christmas cards <laughs> that I have to get out. Um, let me make sure I didn't need anything else from up there. No, because when I get back, I'm going to get ready fit like fix my hair and 
get going. And you know, I was editing, oh, and I edited the vlog <laughs> on top of this. So I was able to come home, I watched my big fat fabulous life, I was able to edit the vlog, and it's exporting, and I realized it's so much easier to drink big gulps of water out of an open cup like that. I'm so used to drinking water out of like a hydro flask and things, and I just can't chug it like I can chug it out of a cup. All right, so there's some things that I want to put in my car. I got my mom's picture frame all set. Remember, I told you guys, in fact, I was just editing the vlog where I told you that I busted the frame, the glass from one of the frames. Well, I just replaced the glass with one of my other frames, and it worked out well. And this is it. It looks so good. So I printed out the picture from Disney this last summer because I think it's so cute. I love it. And then each of the girls, the girls together, and then one from Cozumel. I think it turned out so good. And then these are for Nin. Nin just wanted actual pictures. So I printed those for her. So I'm going to put these in the car So because I'm over at their house all the time. That way I can... Um, put everything in there. I'm trying to think if I need anything else before I leave for dinner tonight. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do spaghetti and meatballs because I feel like that's super easy to just kind of pull out now. And I'm gonna go get the girls a little bit early, but I need to stop at the post office first. So I have some turkey meatballs. And I'll let these sit out. They don't have to be thawed. You can totally put them in, like in the crock pot or in on the Still frozen, but I'm, I'm gonna let them thaw out because, or I'm gonna leave them out because when I get back, they'll heat up even quicker. I have some. I'm trying to see how much sauce I have. I have some prego sauce. Um, I think I have another one in there. This was not actually part of the meal plan. I think we had something else on the meal plan, but because I want to make sure I have dinner for Andres and I probably won't eat. I think this will work out fine. Oh, I'm gonna need more spaghetti sauce. Dang it, I should have picked some up when we were at Costco. It was on sale and I even asked Andres like, oh, do we need spaghetti sauce? And he's like, I don't think so. I'm down to one jar, which is not good. Ooh. Okay, and here's what I noticed about the Apple Watch, which I think I have already talked about. My thoughts on the Apple Watch, or maybe I was telling Andres. Maybe I was just telling him. Okay, so here's my thing. With a Fitbit, you can change the bands. And actually I saw on Amazon, the Apple Watch has bands like silicone bands like this, different colors that you can change to for fairly inexpensive. I think you can get like eight to 10 colors for around 30 or $40. So not too, too bad. I don't love the Apple Watch for working out. Um, I feel like I'm more prone to hitting it. So I did end up getting some eye shields. You can't even tell, but I ordered them off Amazon. They were seven bucks for six of them. And I ended up getting those because when I was at the gym the other day, I hit it twice on the treadmill. And when I was looking at Bia's, Bia's had her for, hers for several years and she never had put an eye shield on it. And the face of her watch is really beat up. So I was like, okay, I definitely need something on there and you can't even tell but i'm also thinking i want to get like um i like this band but a band that kind of has like a metal frame oh which reminds me see if my book is in i don't think amazon came yet today but like a metal frame around the actual face of the watch no Ooh, it's bright and that's mostly to protect the entire thing in general because they're expensive and I want to make sure it lasts, you know? I mean, I felt like that's the point with my Fitbit. The problem that I've had with the Fitbit is I've had to replace it twice. So although I like this better for fitness, I feel like it tracks the workouts a little bit better. If you have any suggestions in tracking workouts and things, let me know. I feel like this did a better job, but the Apple Watch is more accurate and I don't, I had to replace this twice, so. I don't know. I'm probably just going to get rid of it, sell it to somebody else who wants it, and then just keep my Apple Watch because I love the Apple Watch. I love it. Like, I'm so happy that I switched. I'm just not thrilled about the workouts with it. And maybe that's just a user error. So, 
if you have any suggestions, let me know or message me because so many of you guys message me with all kinds of suggestions about the apps, which I eventually found and about what else the password which I eventually figured out as well so yes if you have time and you want to message me about workout tips on your Apple watch let me know I'm headed to my girls night I'm so excited I'm so excited I've never done anything like this besides like I mentioned earlier yesterday painting with a twist so I'm very excited but the traffic over here is insane. This place is off of Blanco. And I mean, I've been off of Blanco several times for various reasons, but I've never been this far out past 1604. And the traffic over here, anybody that deals with traffic on a daily basis, like whether it's driving home, dri like driving to work in the morning, my heart goes out to you because this would make me mad. <laughs> I'm already irritated. I left my house so early thinking, I'm gonna get there early. No, it's 6.18, <clears throat> it starts at 6.30, we were supposed to be there at 6.15, but they get they want you to be there at 6.15 so that you can kind of get prepared before the actual class starts at 6.30. Clearly, I'm not gonna be there before 6.15 because it's already 6.18, but that's okay. Hopefully, according to this, oh. Oh, it's only 0.2 miles, so I'll be there in just a couple of minutes. So I'll be a little early, which is nice. I felt bad for the girls. I had dinner set up for Andres when he got home, but I had to leave right away. In fact, I brought my dinner with me, a sandwich and some plums and some baked chips because I just didn't have time to have dinner with them. It just, I should have probably had the meatballs in the crock pot done the pasta and then gone to go pick him up and so we could have eaten dinner really quick together before I had to leave but it is what it is I will be with him all weekend which makes me feel good so he works all weekend and so we'll have a good nice relaxing weekend I'm not sure what all we have planned but I don't have to work at all this weekend so I'm excited I think it's right here yay I cannot to wait to hang out, have some girl time, and create a new masterpiece for our family. Okay, so this is how my sign turned out. I know I already showed you guys, but this place was called the brush, the board and brush, the brush and board. Mm, I'm not sure. They have two locations in San Antonio. They, she told me that in the spring they're adding one in Alamo Ranch and it was $65, but we had a $10 coupon, so $55 and they provided everything to make this, even the little clips. Isn't that so cute? I think we're gonna hang it. Uh, where that home sign is we're gonna take the home sign down and figure out what to do with it I think we're gonna hang it up there and mine is for pictures So you can hang I just took a whole bunch of clips because I wasn't sure how many pictures I was gonna hang on them uh, But yeah, you can hang pictures anywhere on it. Isn't this so cute? I'm so Freaking excited for it. So excited. They had so many cute ones um and if, you're, if your home is like farm style, they even had a Lazy Susan that I think would be really awesome in the middle of our table. I kind of want to do that one. They have so many Christmas, they have Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, like they had Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. They had all kinds of boards that you could do, 4th of July, uh, and just welcome signs. And there were so many that I want to do and put them all over my house. I was so excited. So... I don't know, I'm sure they do this elsewhere. I don't know if it's just a Texas thing or I know I've seen it in Dallas. I'm not sure about other places, but I love it. You pick what you wanna do ahead of time. You send any customization like your name or if you have a year or whatever you wanna put on it. But the girl told me essentially, 
like they use a huge silhouette machine so essentially they could as long as they have the des the design for it they could do whatever you want they could customize it they could customize how many boards you have and all kinds of stuff so i'm very excited it turned out so good it was so much fun i absolutely loved it so clearly i'm home it's pretty late well it's almost midnight right now but i got home pretty late too it was like 10 almost 11 like 10 45 and it was supposed to end at 9 30 and then it just took a little bit longer i guess than normal and i well actually i feel like it probably was normal that it lasted that long um just because some people hadn't finished we had kind of a large group specifically from work so the girl was super nice like she was totally awesome helping us with everything and I'm tired but it was a lot of fun I had a really good time and I'm glad I didn't bring anything I just brought a water I didn't bring anything to eat because honestly it, I feel like painting with a twist if you bring, you know, little snacks, it's like cool, but if you bring wine or something, it's like easy to drink because you're just sitting there kind of painting. It's not really as in depth. This was a lot more <laughs> in depth. So some of the girls had wine and stuff like that. I didn't even really get a chance to drink. Like you're literally working the entire time that you're there. So if you sign up for something and expecting to have like this nice relaxing time with your friends, no, you're gonna have a good time with your friends, but it's not nice and relaxing. Like you actually have to work a little bit, but it was a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed it. I wanna go back and make as many more as I can and hang them all over the house. So I'm headed to bed. I have a busy day tomorrow. I'm gonna help a family. I'm gonna try and go to work out first thing in the morning. I'm gonna help a family friend after that. And then um, I'm gonna meet with a friend for lunch around two-ish and then I work five to nine at H&R Block. So busy day tomorrow, but then I have a relaxing weekend. on the desk works all weekend and I'm gonna be here with the girls. So I don't know what we're going to do for sure yet. Probably not much of anything, but I heard it's supposed to be a pretty weekend. So hopefully that's the case. I'm going to go to bed so that I can get a jump start because it's almost midnight. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me today and we'll see you tomorrow.